March 12, 2011, marked the fifth anniversary of the disaster at the Fukushima nuclear facility in Japan. Cheryl Corrigan, director of EHS for Coke Industries, discussed what went wrong and what the health and safety community can learn during her keynote speech at the recent Next Generation HSE Summit. According to, a, to the chairman, one of the chairmen at TEPCO, which was the owner of the facility, the driver for the failure was a reluctance to question authority, reflexive obedience, and sticking to the program. So all of those, to me, translate into we just do what we always do and we're not going to change. In essence, their organization failed to equip their operators to adapt to, system, to changes in the system. There was a lack of training and communication and connectedness in their teams. They made a bet on technology, but didn't make a bet on their people. And in this case, the bet created a catastrophic failure. So what should we as leaders take away from Fukushima? Because you know what? That team was no different than any of the teams that we have at our facilities today. To me, I think the, the takeaway for us is that there are numerous black boxes out there for our operators, numerous systems, numerous sources of complexity that they don't understand. And it's critical that we as leaders make the development of our team's adaptive skills as important as the fixes to the tools, to the systems, and to the technology because every operation is run by people.